Yo, what's up everybody, my name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid 4 part number 7 and guys, we are going to continue where we left off from the last time which was actually going through um, different areas and we ended up meeting Drebin where he actually talked about the Patriots and things like that and how uh, they're um, th like, you know, there's other ways to probably get into loopholes with the Patriots and things like that possibly. Uh, he also discussed things like... Um, the four bosses that we're going to encounter and this episode actually features one of them so we're actually going to go through a boss battle today guys and i'm not going to say where and how it goes but it's already in the title anyway so you already know it's going to be a boss battle but anyways guys i hope you guys do enjoy this episode and if you guys do then do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet and let's get into this episode guys enjoy all right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go quickly use the restroom, but I'm back. Um, so we're gonna continue. Uh, so I think I'm heading the right way, pretty much. I see a ladder up there. Okay, well, I found my way out of there. So thank goodness for that. That was getting pretty discombobulated fast. I don't know how many alerts I've gotten so far. I have not been keeping track. I think I'm on like my sixth alert, sixth or seventh, I don't know, out of the 30, which is good. And there's only five acts in this game and we're on number two. Okay, well, we've gotten to the compound, it, it seems. It's good. Then we'll have to make a lot of changes. Hello there. Yes, that's right. We'll need another go at it. That won't be a problem. Uh-huh. Yes. I've taken care of it. That's cool as hell. That's so cool. That was really dynamic. Police, police. Search warrant. No. Oh. Yes, the next test. Oh, I remember this place. I see. We're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. Okay. Okay, Metal Gear. Until then. Zoom in more, why don't you? What's going on with her? Oh, yeah, there's that needle. Naomi. Snake. I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. Damn. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? Nine. And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize the 4D sound data in a Soliton radar file. How is the good doctor? Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? I see. Who were you just talking to? Oh yeah. I saw that. I suppose that. he's really Ocelot from a medical standpoint. Yeah, he is Ocelot. Oh yeah, I see you for sure. Not... You little son of a bitch, I see you. Where are all the guards? They 
know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. Naomi, what happened in the Middle East? What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Yeah. Miss, I inject Snake with Fox Dye and Liquid. MGS1. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. Huh. And we were right. Mm hmm. But only partially. SOP had another function to control people's senses. Senses? You mean whenever people don't notice half the, the time that I'm near them? Inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotion, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldiers' nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least, it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, mm -hmm. all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Oh. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent, every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in complete shambles. Snake. Remember Frank? Frank Yeager. Great mm. Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed, but the battlefield hasn't. Until that point, war was like a game to them. <laughs> and then suddenly, reality came crashing down. Wow, okay, so it wasn't heart attacks or fox die. It was all the senses being unleashed. That's what happened in the Middle East. Ordinarily, our hearts are hardened through experience. Even the most grizzled veterans live with an inescapable guilt they've had to overcome bit by bit through the years. And even then, it never truly goes away. 
For a mind lacking that essential experience, it was simply too much to bear. <laughs> I think I know exactly what he's trying to do. Go on, Snake. Come on. But what about me? <laughs> I've never been under the system's control. That's why I want to examine your body. You need to know too. I don't know about all that. All right, Snake. Undress. Snake, what's gotten into you? Hurry up. Well, we remembered what happened in MGS1. You're gonna let her examine your body now? Uh-oh. Oh my god. Snake. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. Of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> Snake, do you remember what I told you in my video mail about the first generation of nano machines? Hmm. The ones you stuck me with at Moses. Yes. The nanomachines are recharged by your body heat. They won't stop functioning until they're all Just extracted. Relax. Or until you do. Most of them were lost through bleeding and excretion, but around 30% still remain inside your body, That's attached enough. to your cells, not finished yet. The first generation were never ID registered, so they don't react in the same way as the SOP nanomachines. Ready? But they may be interfering with your body and with your heart. Hmm. So, does the aging have something to do with Fox Dye, too? No. Your telomeres were intentionally set up to be short, regardless of the age of the original. One of the genes that inhibit reproduction and aging, the Clotho gene, was intentionally mutated as well. But more importantly, your chromosomes, like liquids, were provided with Terminator genes to prevent them from making copies. Why? Your clones created for one purpose, war. And so, in order to prevent you from being abused by clients or stolen by the enemy, they shortened your lifespan and removed your ability to reproduce. It was a safety device to ensure that the seed of Big Boss didn't end up in the hands of others. The reason you're aging so rapidly isn't because of disease or faulty research or fox dye. It's how you were born. It's your natural lifespan. Interesting. Yes. I'm trying to absorb all this information, but I'm not understanding sometimes of what she, what she's saying. I'm not I'm not getting with the full program if you if you feel me. Not not full in understanding there. Like what she's talking about. So his cells mutated. Some of the Terminator genes killed the stuff from the injection. I don't understand. What what did the Terminator Shouldn't genes kill? Me. The fox dye stuff? To prevent him from dying compared to liquid? How long is my body gonna hold out? Your cells, blood, organs, nerves, skeletal system, muscle tissue. Every part of your body is aging rapidly. Wow. An ordinary man wouldn't even be standing by now. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. How long do I have? Half a year. Oh. <sighs> Damn. It has been seven years. Don't. 
Or five. I don't know. Snake. Since MGS2. There's something I have to tell you. Ugh, now what? You and I both know your body is approaching its limit. It is. But when I said half a year, I wasn't talking about your lifespan. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh. We can't get rid of the fox die in your body completely. At this point, it's circulating within you like a normal virus. Yeah, so? Listen to me. Fox die only kills its victims when the infected person's genetic code fully matches the genetic sequence programmed into the virus's receptors. In other words, it only attacks targets with specific genes. I know. That's what killed the AT president. And Liquid. Yes. And at the same time, it's set up to protect those not designated as targets from the virus's harmful effects. Here. I'll show you. So the AT president and... The receptors on Liquid. the fox die inside your body are breaking down. The rapid aging process is changing the environment within your body. As a result, the virus is starting to mutate. The viruses on the left are fox die in its original form. The ones on the right I took from your body. Holy shit. They're already mutated. Yeah, I see that. The receptors. They're wearing down. Meaning? This mutated version of fox die could activate even if the infected person's genetic pattern doesn't perfectly match the receptors. Which means the virus is becoming indiscriminate about what type of target it kills. Ever since Shadow Moses, fox die has been breeding continuously in the nanomachine colony inside your body and dispersing into the air. But there are no more targets to attack, so there haven't been any more outbreaks. It works like an actual virus, holy crap. Like an actual disease. However, if the receptors continue to wear down, it'll become a killer virus that attacks untold numbers of victims. Because there's no receptors specific to the... Oh! What if we kill them all? Remove them from the body? I see. There are no antibodies either. I don't know what percentage of the receptors have to break down, or how many people will be targeted when that happens. But what is certain is that people will begin to catch fox die through airborne transmission. Yeah. It'll start with those closest to you. Then, one by one, they'll lose their lives. The part of the virus that distinguishes between individuals will start to break down in about... Half a year. No. Three months at the most. Three Holy months. crap, you're gonna start a pandemic? Ironic, isn't it? You've spent your entire life saving the world from Metal Gear, from nuclear annihilation. And now, you're becoming a doomsday device yourself. I can't predict exactly how devastating the epidemic will be. Whether just 1% of the human race could unlock the broken receptors, whether we all can. In either case, three months from now, you'll be a walking biological weapon. Spreading the virus everywhere. Oh my god. That'd be terrible, especially Fox Dice case. Up to me, you'd be quarantined already. <sighs> can you imagine every soldier he came it's across? It's not over yet. I know. You still have a job to do. You have three months. Still enough time to think once all of this is done with. And if I choose death first, will that stop Fox Die from spreading? It should, right? When the host dies, the virus dies with it.
Mm, she doesn't like that. Oh, yeah. Snake, tell me one more thing. Have you been to a hospital lately? Yeah. While you were there, did they give you an injection? Don't they always? Take a look at this. These came out of your body as well. It's a new strain of fox dye, one I've never seen. Someone must have put them in you recently. Do you have any idea who? Him. The new fox dye strain Yo. is starting to multiply rapidly. What's in it? I can't say for sure. I'll need to do some more tests. Son of a bitch, are you serious? He Here, injected fox dye in us? Take this. It contains the same substance the soldiers' nanomachines secrete inside their bodies. It's a drug that inhibits the nanomachine's ability to regulate the senses. The nanomachines inside the body malfunction when the system interferes with them. It triggers a reaction in the body, which is why you're having the seizures. Give yourself a shot whenever they get bad. It's potent, so use it sparingly, unless you want to end up an invalid. It may restore your psych for a short while, but use it too often and the amount restored will start to decrease. Hmm. So those are all the shots that she has? Like the one she took? I've been a fool. I let myself drown in my nanomachines and now I'm trapped by them. You said yourself, we mustn't allow ourselves to be chained to fate. I can't slip free. Oh. Then I'll free us both. Where's Liquid? I can't tell you yet. Not until you free me. Do we know? Liquid left here last night. Where was he headed? Those are my terms. I can't leave this place of my own will. What are you talking about? I'm being... watched. Oh, that gave me goosebumps, I swear. Woo! Liquid has altered his plan. Removing the system will only cause his army to collapse from within. So he's chosen to seize control instead. Liquid's objective is to hijack the SOP system. He'll use it to create the ultimate army of perfect soldiers and launch his insurrection against the Patriots. There's a name for his new plan. He calls it Guns of the Patriots. Guns of, Guns the, Patriots. of the Patriots. Interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, so bitch. This place isn't safe. Come with us. This way. Oh man. Well, she's gone. Should have just went while you had it. Yo, oh, that's so sick. Coming back now. It's all coming back. Come on. Laugh when you can. There's no escape from here. Let yourself to death.
Uh oh, and I am on low psych right now. You're surrounded, Snake. You'll have to break through to go after Naomi. Take out those enemy soldiers and clear a path. Oh, it says I can restore my psych. Okay, I found a solution. I found a solution already. It was given to me. It just said it right in front of my face. There we go. I'm gonna equip you, and I'm gonna have to restore my psych. But they said use it po use it sparingly. So that's first use. Ah, it's kind of a waste, but okay. So am I battling her already? No, those those don't sound like her because she's got the little octopus stuff. I think those are her guards. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Are they affected by smoke? Nope. Are you serious right now? Got you. Where the hell? Oh yeah, look at my look at my psych bar. Why is it doing that? Oh crap. God damn! God damn! What's going on? Oh god damn! What it was happening? No! 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 What is going on? Holy shit, dude! Is that another alert? I hear more. Oh yeah, I see them, I see them, I see them, they're 12 o'clock. How the hell did you hear that? Where are you moving to? Are you guys affected by the smoke or what? Oh shit. Where's her friend? Hiding right behind there. Got you. Got you. Down for the count. Down for the count. What the? In here, find me. I hear her. Come on. You you and I are gonna battle this out. Only thing is you're not gonna have any chance of finding me. You're moving, you're moving, I can see the heartbeat. Oh my god, that took a long time to shoot her. Oh, it's a P90. I see that. I see the name of the gun. There's some ammo here too. And I see some loot over there. Is there more? I don't see any more. I don't see any more thingamajigs on my radar. I wish you guys could see this radar. I have to place a camera elsewhere. God, that scared me. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I was trying to literally look for the guards if there were any. Oh, here we go with the cutscene. Okay, this is all coming back. I think I think this is where our battle might begin. Because I, I figured, I remember this compound. I said it from the very beginning. I was like, I remember this place. Let's 
creeping the shit out of me. Metal Gear Horror. We got problems. My god. Uh unload. Oh shit. Are those bombs? <laughs> you ain't you are obvious. I noticed you. I noticed you. I don't think smoke is gonna work against you because you already you have your own smoke. So what's smoke gonna do against you? I'll need another automatic just to keep Actually no that I have my limit to using that. Maybe, maybe, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh, more like we are gonna use it. <laughs> I think she disappeared again. Oh crap! I can shoot those. I see you. Dude, I like the surround sound in this game. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> oh, I should have used anesthetic on her. Or the... Yeah, anesthetic rounds, not... Not assault rifle rounds. Ooh! Oh, crap! I'm not taking damage when I when I do that. I should really switch to anesthetic. What the hell? Oh god, you gotta reload. Yep, there she goes. Oh oh, she's setting bombs. Yeah, I should have switched to anesthetic. I don't know what I'm doing. God damn it. This is always the typical thing I see in Metal Gear stuff. Oh, she's got footsteps. What the hell is that? Oh, I see you! I, I, I love the surround sound in this game. I swear to God, that's just helping me right now. I hear her. Where you at? What the f... This is creeping me out because I don't know where she's at. I see little footsteps. You see those little footsteps right there? Unless that's just the wood. You're awfully big. No, I know you're a decoy. You're a decoy because, yeah, you're. Look, 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 look how huge you are. You think you're fooling me? Nah. 
There we go. I know exactly who you are. Oh yeah, dude. Look at the size of that, and then look at the size of this. Snake, the Mark II's batteries are about to run out. See the Just difference? You know. Oh, there she is. Really? Really? Are you serious right now? That was awfully close. Okay, where you at? Okay, my GPS is indicating. Oh yeah, your health is the same. Oh, I need to get my suppressor back. Gotta purchase one of those. God damn! Oh, oh, oh. Nah, nah, that's nah. She has that, this little camo. Bro, this is... It's another mimic. <laughs> She's making it too obvious. Oh! Reload the thing. There we go. I think I got all of you. I should have used anesthetic, but it's all right. I actually had the huge upper hand of that battle, I think. Yeah, they made the mimics too obvious that for that one for sure. That was too obvious. Like, come on. Like, I already know your face camo because you mimicked me with the snake stuff. The Mark II was extremely huge and gigantic. You were obvious. You were obvious, woman. Hello there. She's losing her nano machines, I think. Was that her thing of nano machines right there? That suit? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry I laughed. No, she's she's still insane. I'm sorry. I won't laugh anymore. I can't. <laughs> 
I don't want to. <laughs> what she'll throw at you next watch out yeah you're right you're trying to dodge me huh god damn lady She's doing some crazy... What did we just listen to? Oh my god, this has become creepy and awkward. She just died. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of sad. I think it was, I think it was going back to her, the, like the stuff she experienced in the past. I don't think she's uh, dead, I think she's just asleep. Okay, I'm glad we didn't uh, kill her. Oh. Yes! Yes, I remember this. You get to take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, man. Yeah, I think it was going back to her history and, and the stuff that she went through. I guess that made her become a war machine. Damn. That got haunted really quick, though. That took a haunted, haunted turn real fast. Yo, Snake. Looking good today. Draven. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo? That camo skull cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. It utilizes the same kind of technology as your Octo camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't fit. It's not my size or shape. Yeah. Looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work. But, ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Hmm. Somebody's done their homework. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's my job. Is that the real reason you injected me with those nanomachines? To spy on me? I prefer the term customer data management myself. Driven. Relax. It's strictly confidential. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. Then what did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handed. Easy. <laughs> she just kept on laughing. 
Now, why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village in Scandinavia. Little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Anyway, there's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill them. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no. They'd kill her too. So she let fear take control and did exactly as they told her. Wow. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved and laughed while she did it. Oh my god. And as she bathed in their blood, it gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her, it looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only, that ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? Nah. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Mm-hmm. Right? In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? Fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back. Well, that took a dark turn. Face camo. A camouflage skull, ca skull cap that uses the same kind of technology. Okay, yep. Alright. Cool. That's awesome. I, I really enjoyed that. Alright, everybody, and that's going to do it for part number seven. I know we were in Naomi's compound for quite some time, but we're actually going to be ending it there because we had quite a long scene with Naomi, or a long cut scene with Naomi, and then we had a 15 to 20 minute boss battle with Laughing Octopus, which is respectfully her name. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you guys did, then do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe if you, ha uh, if you have not yet. And we are going to continue in part number eight where we're going to try to find Naomi to the best of our ability. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.